Hi, I'm Maxim Bena, the creative director of Splinter Cell Conviction. And I'm here today to give you the top 5 biggest changes that you can find in Splinter Cell Conviction. Conviction is really about Sam's story. He's not working for the government anymore, he's working for himself. He's looking for the killer of his daughter. And that brings him to Washington DC, where he, he uncovers a different plot against the US government. And what's really interesting and important for us is that it's a personal moment for Sam, it's a personal story, and it really motivates him. He's not bound by the rules that the government used to apply to him. So he's really a predator that's unleashed against his enemies. On top of our story being very important, we wanted to tell that story in real time while the player was in control as much as possible. That's why we came up with some cool narrative tools to help us do that. The projected texts are exactly that. They allow us to project the objective of the player in the environment so that we're attracting his eye where we want him to go. Background information to what's happening in real time while you're in control. So let's say you're interrogating a guy and he's talking to you about Andrew Coben. Well, we can project a movie of Andrew Coben, giving you even more background information on your next target. Mark and execute is my favorite feature. First of all, you need to do a hand-to-hand -hand kill to gain the ability to execute. Once you've got it, you move in the environment and you mark your targets. You can also mark traps and explosive objects in the environment. And then, you wait for the perfect timing, you press on the Y button and Sam automatically shoots the enemies. What's great about Mark and Execute is that it moves the, the challenge of shooting an enemy to a more tactical aspect of the game, which is being the master of your environment. The speed of Sam was something that was super important for us. We wanted Sam to move as fast as possible so that he could flank his enemies, run away from danger and really be the ultimate predator and the master of his environment. In Conviction, you can hang on a ledge and move super fast, allowing you to flank your enemies and really be in control of your environment. On top of the single player story, we've got six hours of co-op campaign. After that, we've got Deniable Ops which has four game modes playable on the full co-op maps and on two exclusive maps. Clean. And finally, we've got the PEC system that allows you to complete challenges and gain points that you can spend to upgrade your weapons, your gadgets, buy new skins and textures for your characters. And all those points are available in co-op and in single player. So check out all these changes in Splinter Cell Conviction, available April 13, exclusively on Xbox 360 and PC. Thanks. Sam, you need to go with that. The hell I do.